Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all doing well. I thought I'd pick up the camera this weekend. It's Saturday morning right now and yeah, I thought we'd do a little weekend vlog. Um, I feel like they're the sort of favourite vlogs I like to watch on a weekend. So yeah, I hope you're all having a good one so far. We have just got home from a lovely dog walk and I think... Tom thinks he might have got some good photos. Yeah. So yeah. if we do, because Tom took his camera, um, it's like beautiful frosty morning. Oh, sorry, Barney. Sorry, buddy. Beautiful frosty morning, sunny, and as you can tell, this one's a little bit wet because he has been frozen swimming, haven't you? As always. So I am going to start this morning by doing some baked oats, I think, for breakfast. Oh, what do we have here? This has just arrived. Mm. Oh, yes. I thought this morning I wore like contact lenses. So that's good. That was a welcome delivery. Otherwise, I'd be calling them up saying, Where is it? Um, what do we have in here? So we're going to do some baked oats. I just found a recipe online. I have made baked oats before, but um, I don't know. Just not had it in ages. We've got, I think, everything in berries, bananas. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's that's from Amazon. I've got some Amazon bits actually. I'll share them with you later. Yeah, I think I'll share them with you later. And do a bit of an Amazon unboxing at some point. I don't know what this is though. Do you know what that is? It may be a birthday present for Mr. Tommy Lord. So we'll take this up. Yeah. What is? What, the grey bag? Anyway. Anyway, I feel like I'm getting pretty peckish, so let's make some baked oats. And I think ingredients I would need, or you will need if you want to bake along with me. Fresh berries, some yogurt, chia seeds, some oats, and some baking powder, or bananas, some eggs. Or maple syrup or honey, yeah, we'll get that for a bit of sweetness. Or should we have a bit of pop some chocolate chips in, seeing as though it is the weekend? A little sprinkle of cinnamon as well. Air fry for 8 to 10 minutes or 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. bit of chocolate, eggs. I was gonna put a dollop of that on top if you want some. Thank you, I'll leave. Here we have our baked oats. I've just popped a little bit of yogurt, Greek yogurt on top. Mm. A little taste test, you like it? Really <laughs> What do we think? Oh, you don't wanna be on camera. Out of 10. Or in terms of like your other porridge oats and overnight oats. Well, the only thing I would say is I shouldn't really be having chocolate whether it defeats the object in it. But... One row of chocolate though. You don't have to have the chocolate in it. It's the weekend. Really good. Barney's just staring at me. Like, how many, where's how my many eggs are in it? Two. 100 grams of oats. Um,
We are enjoying coffee. Drive to survive. And little snoozies. Oh, you were snoozing. Anyone else absolutely love this? Just had this come through the mail. And oh my goodness, this box smells amazing. As always with Neon products, it's just the smell is just like no other. So we have a little well being gift. Oh, cute. Oh, for Mother's Day, spark all the feel good vibes this Mother's Day with our new limited edition scented candle. Ooh, new limited edition candle. Feel good vibes scented candle. I love that. P.S. How nice and bold and bright is their packaging. I feel like they just. The smell, the branding. Oh, I've just broken the box. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So this is the scent to make you happy. Feel good vibes, limited edition packaging. This is in Mandarin. Yeah, it's the Mandarin that's coming through really strong. And I love citrusy scents. Mandarin, Ylang Ylang and Jasmine. They do two different sizes. They do the smaller one at 20 pounds and they do a larger one at 55. So yeah, thank you so much to Neon for sending that over. Scent to make you happy has seven key essential oils, a lemon, mandarin. So again, that's citrusy and orange very citrusy. Lavendin, which is a hybrid class of lavender known to help boost your mood. Ylang Ylang to promote relaxation and chamomile as well to help soothe. Jasmine known to help calm and uplift. Oh, I just kissed it. <laughs> a little bit of lipstick on there. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to Neom as always. Spoiling me rotten and couldn't recommend their products enough. Then, oh my makeup is so bad. Why does it look like I've been punched in the face. I haven't. It's actually towards the end of the day now and I'm just about getting ready to de makeup, jump in the shower, PJs on for the evening. But I just wanted to show you these that have arrived. I have shown them on, I've done like an Inst uh, TikTok. Hold on one second. Let me get some scissors. So I showed these on TikTok and I've ordered some more and they are honestly incredible. So. I'll leave them linked below. They are shoe space savers. I've got a box of 12, which is what I bought before. Let me just show you in my wardrobe in case you didn't see that TikTok. This is my kind of shoe wardrobe and I have boots on the bottom two shelves and then I did have the top three, no, four shelves jam packed whereby I had no space and I actually was overloaded on space but now these space savers as you can see have allowed me to have extra space so once I've put these all on shoe space savers which I'll do now so you can see what they look like I will have even more space it's getting dark I've just walked Barney his little evening walk um what have we been doing today we've been watching Formula One Drive to Survive which has been good we've got a couple of episodes well we're only a few episodes in but um, I just love it. <laughs> I think it's so good. Uh, so we've done that. Tom's popping out this evening to a friend's. So I have a solo self-care evening where I'm going to have a nice long hot shower, skincare. I've got my afternoon tea that I'm going to with friends. Actually, I do have some prezzies to wrap for tomorrow for that. So I'll do some gift wrapping with you as well. I'll show you what I've bought for my friend. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna have a nice hair wash ahead of tomorrow. I'll style it in the morning after we've been for like a dog walk and everything. So take my pair of shoes, I'll just pop the right shoe on the bottom and the left shoe pointing towards me. Yeah, you literally just, this is how they come. You just um, pop that. You can have it on whatever level you want, one, two, or three. I just have it on the third one. Doesn't really matter for me though, because I've got quite a lot of height with these shelves. New shoes I got from H&M. I might wear these tomorrow actually. So we've got a little mini heel for my afternoon tea. We're going to Grand Pacific. So I think they would be quite a nice shoe to wear. I actually could do with giving these shoes a clean. So there we have it. I've gained an extra shelf and a half almost. Amazing. Absolute lifesaver. So yeah, I will leave these linked if you think that you've got a space that you will find 
some use out of these shoe stackers too. We have a kind of like, it's not really a baby shower, but it's a celebration. Little chance to catch up with a friend before she has her baby this month. Hopefully this month. Um, so we are in the month of March now and spring is on its way. So yeah, we there's a little group of us that are going to go. There's four of us tomorrow. I thought I would just pick her up a couple of little bits ahead of baby's arrival. We don't know the gender, so maybe this could be a good little ideas and suggestions if you've got a friend that you um want to buy a little gift for if they're also having a little bubba so i have some tissue paper but i think i'll just throw that on top and actually wrap the presents individually i've got three things firstly a jelly cat i feel like these and the white company teddies i've bought for people who've had babies in the past just because they are the softest they're so cute you can get the matching books as well for when they're a little bit older and this is the dog of which obviously I have a golden. So I thought Barney, this is from Barney. And um, yeah, this is called the medium toffee, medium bashful toffee puppy. So cute. So I've got that. And then my friend loves to travel. I don't want her to lose that about her. And I thought as a little encouragement and a cute little gift. I got this from Katie Loxton and it's a gorgeous, cute little My First Passport uh, passport case. Just just a little something cute like that. And again, because we don't know gender, I thought I would stick to the neutrals. Although you guys know me, I probably would have sticked to the neutrals anyway. And then I thought I would get a cute little sentimental gift as well. So this is from a company called, let me come in a bit closer, Emily Rowlings. And she has created off the bat of wanting to do this for her own child, I believe. She's got a little note in there that kind of explains where she came up with the idea. But she has these kind of like diary journals in different colors. Again, gender neutral, I just went for the oatmeal color. And it just is titled Birthday Letters to My Baby. So it's a cute little idea for maybe um, an 18th birthday present to give to your baby. So every year you, as the parent, would um, essentially write a letter to your, to your baby. So the first couple of pages are about the day you were born. Um, some details like your birth weight birth time who was who delivered you who they were called people you met what you did number number one song and everything like that and then after that it just follows a similar kind of um principle whereby you've got first birthday there and you <coughs> can write a letter <coughs> excuse me both mum and dad can write a letter to baby whether it be you took your first steps you're really proud of you you um did your gcse's you struggled this year i don't know but whatever we did this holiday um whatever it is that you want to write really just some nice memories and then at the end of that first letter you can kind of conclude with this year this year you loved you didn't like you met you learnt to do something the trips holiday we took funniest moments proudest moments biggest milestones and then yeah you can do that every year so for instance this one is eighth birthday it goes all the way till the 18th. So yeah, a cute little sentimental gift idea that I thought I would pick up for her as well. And then when baby gets here, and we know the gender, and we go to meet baby, I'm sure I'll maybe pick up some cute little gifts kind of related to the gender. But anyway, I'm just gonna give these a quick wrap. I've got some bow ribbon left over from Christmas. So I'm just gonna go in with plain brown craft paper, green ribbon, I thought it would go with the bag, just nice and neutral and simple, again, gender neutral. And then I've also got these little uh, tags, which are from Zara Home, and they're just plain brown craft paper that I thought I would, on each of them, write a little note. So maybe like this one's from Barney. This is because of mummy's and daddy's love for travel. And then this is, for your 18th birthday or something like that I'll jot on there and then I've got her little card as well and that is everything that I've got so let's get a wrapping I need to get some sellotape
So I've come into my bathroom. Oh, my hair desperately needs a wash. I've left it as long as possible so that I, I tend to prefer that. So that I reduce my amount of times I'm washing my hair, but also it feels even fresher when I wash it. So I will be washing this in just a second, but just to remove my makeup. In fact, I'll show you what products I'm gonna use. So I've been using this medical grade cleanser. It's from Abaji. I do have it in like under my sink for like mornings and stuff. I'm just gonna pop it in the shower so that I can use that when I'm in there. And then I will do a first cleanse to remove my makeup with my Elemis cleansing balm. And this one, the fig one, <gasps> smells so good. It's not as fresh as the lemon balm, but how do you describe that? Almost, I always just think of autumn. You know, like autumn, first sense of autumn when you start getting the blackberries, figs and stuff like that, that kind of fruitiness. Obviously, fig, green fig cleansing bar. I'm going to take a little mitt. I probably would ordinarily do this in the shower, but for the sake of just showing you, I just take a generous amount on my finger. And then rub it in between my fingers to warm it up. And it literally just melts off. Any makeup you've got on, this is the worst lighting because you're right by the window and it's pitch back outside already. When I say already, it's gone set for six o'clock. Tom's gonna go out in about half an hour. So I'm just gonna have a really, really quick shower. And then I'll pop on as well my, this is really gentle for your eyes as well, which I like. Um, that even takes off the scar, it's honestly amazing. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, in my moisturiser, which I'm going to use my Animus Pro Collagen Night Cream, I'm just going to pop a couple of drops of my tanning drops in so that tomorrow when I go out for a nice afternoon tea, I will have a bit of colour to my face because I am very much winter skin at the minute, aka pale. I'll show you the uh, tanning drops that I'll use as well on my moisturizer. I'm still, uh, what was I gonna say? I'm still, I'm still, can't remember. Isn't that the most annoying thing? Usually I have to retrace my steps, <laughs> but I always say when I was saying that. Uh, oh, I'm still, <laughs> still using this, uh, which was, uh, prescribed to me from my uh, from Dr. Ahmed who's done my like derma filler um, like tetral filler and stuff this is like an eye cream from pH formula so that's eye rescue it's called I think you have to have a prescription to get that though but I just use that morning and evening quite liberally um, across my eyelids and under my eyes as uh, like a base before moisturising and then also this is the SPF that I love to wear for during the day Right, shower time. I can't wait for this hair wash. And I'll probably see you guys in the morning. I'm gonna go for a nice dog walk and bakery. I think we're gonna go to Lash Cat, one of our favourite bakeries that we like to do most weekends. Good morning, it's the next day. I'm just trying to decide what to wear to lunch today, but to go and meet my friends. I just curled my hair, popped a couple of rollers in, done my makeup basically my usual makeup but just a little heavier on the eyes although I'll take you in the natural light so you can see a bit better yeah just a nice kind of like brown smoky eye and on my lips I've got MAC well lip liner with the Clarins 22 lip perfecter and that is my makeup and hair um so outfit what am I gonna wear I'm feeling like trousers maybe these are my abercrombie sloan pants i feel like what would i wear on top if i'm gonna wear that i'm feeling quite pale i've not fake tan so i feel like i want to be covered but i also don't want to be too hot so maybe actually t-shirt and blazer maybe with jeans i did try those trousers on but i felt a bit too corporate so i've gone for leggings i'm going to pop on this uh basic tea this primark edit so it is um like a nice basic tea um blazer and then I'm not sure if boots or trainers yet but i can't put that 
t-shirt on before I take my hair out. So I thought I would just show you the roller results. Also, I was going to wear these shoes with those white trousers, but uh, wide trousers. But yeah, I just felt a bit too corporate. Just take these out. Just a couple of rollers in the front. I really want to try. There's a that color wow uh, mousse, like volumizing mousse. It looks really good from the TikToks and stuff that I've seen. I might get it to try. There you go. A little bit of volume in there. So I'm just going to pop and first I'll take you into the bathroom with me. Show you the full process of what I'm going to do. I always like to just take a pump or two of Moroccan oil and just run that through the ends just to kind of divide the curl a little bit. Just like so. Also, because I washed my hair yesterday, I will just spritz a bit of shampoo and shampoo, dry shampoo in the roots because it is day two hair. And to be honest with you, even on freshly washed hair, I do like a bit of dry shampoo for that added bit of like volume and I don't know, it seems to it seems to help it last longer. Otherwise, if I'm fiddling touching my hair, it gets greasier quicker. So just pop on a little bit of in fact that's all out let me see if i've got another one always always got a backup in my collection this is definitely one product for hair care that i definitely could not live without zhuzh it, sort it out, and then try not to breathe it in. And when I'm the right way around, just pop a little bit as well. Et voila, that is done, looking up pretty big. It will obviously drop a bit though, so I always tend to do it a bit bigger at the start to allow it to drop a little bit. Not quite sure what's going on with the front there, but there we go. Hair's done, hair and makeup's done, and I can now put my t-shirt back on. Oh, on. Now, rest of my outfit, I've got my base sorted. I'm feeling like, which blazer should I go for? Or I could go for, I was gonna say a vest, but then I'd need a long sleeve top on. I think I will go for a blazer. I think I'll choose between these. So we've got khaki green, which I feel like I might go for, because I might put my green fascia trainers on. It's quite sunny today. Um, chocolate brown. Oh, oh, I do. I love this Frankie Shop colour. I think the green. So I wore the Frankie Shop one when I last went out for lunch with some other girls earlier on in the week. There we go. I feel like I might go for the green beiges actually. Yeah. So that's me done. I'm going to pop on some jewellery and my perfume of choice for today. I'm going to go with the new Jo Malone Red Hibiscus. It's a really... It's, it's feminine for me, but subtle feminine, I would say. Oh, it's lovely. It's definitely different for me, but I have been reaching for it. I feel like as I'm willing spring on to just have that slight little bit of floral femininity within my perfume choice. Uh, bag, I'm gonna go for my Louis Vuitton. Still, I've still got that like new bag excitement from getting this at Christmas that I just, I want to enjoy wearing it. Keep wearing it to get that cosper down, cosper wear down in true girl math style. It comes with a gold chain, which I love, but I feel is more evening. So I also have this, which I feel like is a bit more of a daytime strap with it. And this bag's great because that you get this inside as well. And you also get like a little card insert. It's like three items in one. Just throw in my little coin purse and phone in there and that should be me. Little lip gloss maybe. Hair bubble in case I want to tie my hair up. I always have to have a hair bubble just in case. I don't know why. It's like a comfort thing in case I get too hot. First thing I do is like throw my hair up if it's too hot somewhere or if I get a bit fed up. And that is me. Good. 
to go. So I will see you guys when we get to lunch. It's like an afternoon tea we're doing at Grandpa's to fix, so it should be lovely. So I've just arrived in town. I'm a bit concerned because the few bays behind me, it says parking suspension. I don't know if you can see that big yellow sign there, but there are cars here. So fingers crossed we'll be okay. <laughs> and we're not going to get a ticket uh but anyway we are here i am actually very early because when i came in during the week it was that busy it took me forever to park I ended up being late and i'm not very good at being late so i thought i could get here in plenty of time that if i am that early i can just nip to the shops which is what i think i might do we'll see how far i get because i've only got half an hour before i need to meet the girls and one of the girls has said that she's going to be here early as well so may meet up with her then head over so we'll see if we get to go in the shops i will take you with me kind of want to go to sostrengrem but it's not it's kind of like a good 10 minute 15 minute walks so by the time i've got there and back i probably will be a bit rushed but wherever we end up We'll just have a little mooch. Sun's out. Want to get out this car? Pay for parking. Head on over for lunch, and then catch up with you in a bit. How would be up waiting for you if you had to leave? How would wait a lifetime if you were at sea? I just wanna say. Real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal. It's your moment. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> is that you? It's called town. It does, yeah. Oh, oh hi. Oh, oh, hi. So what is it? So it's a blue rise. Oh, it's like. Oh, well, fringe. Oh, I'm in my <laughs> Sabrina Carpenter era. Love it. Love it. We're feeling very Bridgerton vibes. Congratulations. We have so much food left, and I'm thinking about boxing my sweet bits up for you guys. I might yeah. have a macaron. Because we've got, we had two of these each as well. That one looks good. Yeah. Mm. Plonk my bum down here. <sighs> so I've just had a big um, order arrive from, well, over the past few days, I want to say. Hold on, I need to switch up the angle one second. Better? So I've had a few Amazon deliveries over the last few days that I thought I would sit down and share them with you. Also got a couple of monthly favourites a PR box, a couple of random purchases that I've just made over the last couple of days that I just wanted to include within a vlog. So we've got a bit of a haul type section within today's vlog here. So no words needed. Pause, go grab yourself one. This is my first coffee of the day, so I'm like, ah. Oh is the next day it is monday by the time i got back last night it was starting to get dark we just had a hello fresh meal for dinner um carrying on watching drive to survive formula one um but yeah had such a lovely time catching up with girls and seeing my friend before she has bubba little baby on the way oh so cute and um yeah just good girly catch up the high tea that grand pacific did as well was lovely quite filling so we ended up each having some to-go boxes to take out some of the food. But anyway, they had the beautiful like violinists and was there a cello player? I can't remember, but it was very Bridgerton vibes when we walked in and it was honestly just lovely. I will just say as well, this morning I have taken delivery of a new coffee table, a couple of bits from Home Barn. <sighs> in love. So stay tuned for my next vlog because I'm gonna style up, show those bits with you and also some of these bits, including this actually which arrived in a different box so i'll just show it to you first but this is an amazon purchase i'll leave everything that i show you within this segment within this video in the description box linked if you want to shop any of these items yourself but i picked up this it's just plastic so very affordable but it's like a olive colored 
plant pot. It does have the drainage, so you can use this as like a plant like in the garden, plant pot for in the garden, but I'm thinking of replacing our olive tree in the kitchen. It's in like a little basket at the minute and I feel like the basket's too small for it, so I'm thinking of popping it in here. So I'll do that again, that little switch out in my next vlog. Then I also found this on Amazon and how gorgeous is this? This might actually go on my new coffee table. It's a old antique rustic looking pot, very Zara home. How beautiful is that? My gel nail stickers that I've been mentioning to you guys that I've been using are honestly incredible. Well worth trying out. If you already have a lamp, then you can get the gel nail strips of which I bought some more. Because I love them so much and because they last even longer than gel nail polish, they are a bit more expensive in the long run because obviously you can get several applications from a gel nail polish. These are just like a one or two time use. But um, yeah, I picked up some more because I love them that much. So I've got these ones in a pink pastel with a glossy finish, which I feel will be really pretty for spring. And then I'm also trying a new brand. So I've not tried this brand before, but I saw the reviews on Amazon. They seem to be quite well reviewed. So we'll th I thought we would give them a try. You can't, I can't open them to show you. I can show you the sticker on the back. Um, these are the two colours that I've gone for. A French, which I find really hard to do on myself anyway, so that should make things really easy. And like, again, a neutral sand beige, they call it. Yes, yeah, sand beige colour. So essentially, if you didn't see my vlog where I was showing me using these, they're like a sticker that you can apply and then you cure under the lamp and that's it. So there's no one, two, three coats of application. And then to remove them, you just take a little wooden stick, which you get given within the kit and you just pop it in some like acetone nail polish remover and just run it under the sticker and it just literally pops off but yeah they don't chip they seem to last really long like basically they last until they grow out so i would say like two three weeks couldn't recommend them enough so yeah so glad i picked them up to try because now i'm a convert this is like a really funny purchase that I saw. It reminded me of the ASAP ones that they do. But I saw it, it was recommended to me on Amazon, so I thought I was going to pick it up from our downstairs loo. But it's essentially, I think the ASAP ones call it poo-poo drops or something, but it's, these call them water closet droplets in herbal pine. They do loads of different scents, but pine was calling me, especially as I, as I use the Harpic pine toilet bleach most of the time so yeah it's essentially little drops of essential oils that you can pop in your toilet yes before you do a number two if you want to like hide the smell but also even just to pop in the toilet to make the toilet room and the little bathroom smell amazing so yeah these ones have cypress pine needle and eucalyptus oil in on the white company they've um uploaded some new bits which i was having a look i love having a browse for those dupes as you guys know so i saw these and i thought they reminded me of some new uh, oven mitts that the white company do they just do them in a very plain linen kind of fabric of which these are so so similar and also that rustic texture to these i thought they were fab they were literally a fiver so affordable even just to pop on your oven even if they're just the display ones because of the nice material and texture but even if they're not they were a fiver so yeah i was so so happy with that find i also just got a little uh lidded bin for my bathroom i currently have an open top bin and i just feel like there's something about having a bin bathroom that looks messy when the bin top is open again super affordable and then these are more for Tom. Tom's uh, wanting to start baking our own bread. Let me know if you want to see that in a vlog. I'm more than happy to vlog our little bake, baking bread journey. So got this kit for that as well as some stainless steel mixing bowls if I can get them out. That's just to help aid with that as well. Got a couple of books. Firstly, this one that just is called Beauty in the Stillness. And essentially, I think it's just a little passages. Is it poems or just passages? Yeah. For those who yearn to discover themselves may shed layers that no longer align and walk away with more clarity. And they are the different kind of like chapters of the passages. In fact, I'll read you the back. So I believe I truly understand life after midnight 
when I hear the creaks that my heater makes or the footsteps in the hallway, the shifting positions of the sheets or the cars driving in the streets, but even the absence of bustle makes me understand how when you listen closely, you can grasp everything you cannot see. Because many of us overlook the ability to listen and notice, there is much more than what our retina displays. There is beauty, in the stillness really nice wholesome easy read as well because you can literally just read one page a day something to like have as a little reflective book maybe beside your bed just before you go to bed or first thing in the morning i also jumped on the bandwagon and bought the um a court of thorns and roses from sarah j mass now i am not a fantasy reader but i have heard such good things about this book it keeps popping up on my tiktok and i'm like do I give it a try? So I just bought the first book for now and it probably will take me a while to get around to reading this because I still have one from Frida who did The Housemaid and The Housemaid's Secret. Loved those books so much. I also bought a third one called Never Lie. So that's next on my reading list. And then uh, what else? I've got another one, None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell as well. Again, another thriller. Maybe if I wanna switch it up in between the two, I could go for this one. But if you have read this, let me know what your thoughts were. Um, okay, so then I also just got a couple of bits from Sainsbury's the other day. How gorgeous. This little, it's part of the Mother's Day range, I think this one. So it should still be on sale with Mother's Day, fast approaching. Some gorgeous, cute little fun gift ideas. And this memories box it just comes with these little page tabs and um, I don't know how many sheets of paper, but sheets of paper that you can essentially attach uh, like photos to, do like a little kind of mini scrapbook. I even thought just as a storage box to put like tickets or wristbands, things that you've got memories from. And because it is just a gorgeous linen box, I just thought this would be beautiful just styled up on one of the shelves somewhere. So yeah, I picked that one up. That was eight pounds. And then whilst I was in that, I also just picked up Carmex that I needed. And I wanted to try this Skin Food Light from Willada because well, everyone raves about it and I was in need of a new daytime moisturiser. I will give this a try and let you know what I think. And then I also picked this up. It's still in the box, but I have used it. It's from La Roche-Posay, which I love anyway. I love their SPF. But this is their Sica Plus Balm B5 Plus. Again, another discovery from TikTok, and I have been loving this. I've only used it a couple of times, but it's one of those things that you kind of notice quite instant effects from. So I suffer from, suffer, first of all problems. I get quite open pores around my nose, and it almost looks like little blackheads, because if you squeeze them, it's like, a really satisfying if you're a spot squeezer um so i can really go to town on my nose which is obviously not good for me and they're not blackheads they are in fact sebaceous filaments so they are actually prone to being like that the more you squeeze them so it's actually better to leave them and to hydrate them which is what this product does so i have been using this predominantly here you don't go too close to the eyes so just on the nose and a bit down here onto the cheeks. And then also sometimes I get them on my chin as well. Sometimes even on my forehead, you can put this wherever, but um, that's kind of like T-zone, I suppose oily. That's the areas that I've been focusing this on. And I just go in with my moisturizer in an evening, um, focus my moisturizer everywhere else, and then just pop this just as an added, like extra hit of hydration in those areas of concern. So I will continue to use this. I can take it out of the box now. I was just wanting to show it to you. I don't know why, but anyone else do that like to keep their things in boxes even when you're using them anyway i also got a pr parcel from charles worthington so thank you to the team that sent me this um who's it from capsule comms so thanks guys if you happen to be watching i will look forward to giving these a try i have just started a new shampoo and conditioner so once that was finished this is the charles worthington thicker and fuller densifying shampoo and also a thickening mist as well. Was it last weekend? I think it was last weekend. We went to a National Trust walk. We did one of our favorites, which is the Quarry Bank Mill style walk. And they have a couple of pre-loved bookshops there, of which I saw this one and I decided to pick it up. It was four pounds. So yeah, 
from the little National Trust at Bookshop. And it's the Encyclopedia of Garden Plants and Flowers. Again, for styling, I thought this would be great because it's a super thick and chunky book. And also without this uh, cover on, 16.95 it was retail price. It's a gorgeous, like olive green, earthy kind of color with the gold here. And also look how beautiful that is on the cover. So yeah, I think I will remove this and just keep this exposed because I just think it's beautiful. And then after that walk, we did a little visit to Alderley Edge. And there's a beautiful little shop there called The Potting Shed, I think it's called. Yeah, The Potting Shed. Oh, here we go. Let me show you that card that they've got on the back. I urge you to go and have a visit if you're local, haven't already, and if you like the real rustic homeware, like that kind of pots like that, pots like this. Yeah, they have some gorgeous things. So we picked up, we actually picked up a little espresso cup, but Tom's already been using it. So that's in the kitchen. Um, and then we also got this, which they had some of them styled up as little herb planters. So I thought we could pop this on our kitchen shelf as a little herb planter. And it's actually a reclaimed uh, brick mold from India. They had loads of them with different kind of different levels of rusticness should we say i went for the most rustic they had and it's like real old battered and yeah chipped but it's also got these metal bars on and just a beautiful added texture or texture i should say to add into our kitchen and then we did also get two pieces of artwork of which when I went to Grand Pacific yesterday, if I can insert a photo, I will. So I think I sent a photo to Tom. In the toilets that they had, they had these, which I was like, oh my God, we've just bought them. And I want to put these in our downstairs loo as well. So I got two. They are same but different. So we can obviously have them in the same room. They're not the exact same, but a similar vibes. Love them. So they're in a really rustic, distressed, black frame if i hold it a bit closer so you can see the texture of it kind of like being chipped away and uh, beautiful and it's on a glass panel so obviously uh whatever color your walls are are the color that would be the border and yeah with our downstairs loo being a really dark green i thought the fern would look lovely in there so i've got that and the other one i'll show you the other one but it is identical well it's not identical same but different side by side these will look lovely well not side by side actually i'm not sure how i'm going to position them but they are definitely going to be in our downstairs loo because i just feel like they will fit that space beautifully and yeah the fact that Grand pacific did that as well i thought well who's stealing whose idea there because they didn't see mine and i already had that idea thinking alike but yeah that is everything that i've got to share with you now wait to style up this home barn purchase that has just arrived so yes i'm going to close off the vlog here today but thank you so so much for watching don't forget if you do want to see other like updates more real time then you can follow me over on my instagram account fred Harrington ho or on tiktok as well i hope you have a lovely rest of your march we have just booked a little trip away for tom's birthday so we will be going to seville any recommendations let me know, uh, pop me a message on Instagram, pop it in the comments. Anyone that's been before, let me know what you enjoyed most and what you would recommend. And yes, yeah, so we're excited for that. What else do you guys have planned for March? Any trips, Any anything in the pipeline, let me know. And yeah, have a lovely rest of your day. I'll see you guys, hopefully, in my next video. Bye guys.